I mean, how many days away is it? Oh, still got a little while to go. Uh, midterms are three weeks away. That's it's Halloween, true. just about. Yeah, like, a couple of weeks right in between. Yeah, about two weeks. Mm -hmm. 31. Have Get you your, got your costume organized yet? <laughs> costume. Oh, that's right. You're meh, right? You're meh? Um, yes. Meh. Bye. We'll talk about it later. Ciao. Bye bye. Bola death toll rises to nearly 4,500 as we watch Americans fight for their lives and hear a frightening new warning from the World Health Organization about the scope of that deadly disease. Welcome to this Tuesday edition of Happening Now. Us in the Big Mac. Maybe you don't want to know what's in that McRib. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> All right. Well, coming out of that, that the family's getting payments from that, and as a result, he maybe could end up not spending time behind bars. And in part they, as a result. they say they're going to give all that money back. Uh, uh, thank you for coming in. We have now heard from the CDC that 70 staff members at that hospital in Texas had some sort of interaction with Thomas Duncan. They were trying to follow the protocol, but yet. CDC is doing of informing hospitals of exactly what they need to be doing to be on the lookout for this. So, this they like to set up one hospital in each state throughout the United States to be able to deal with Ebola. So, how concerned are you that they're concerned that we could see a much wider outbreak. To the face of Ebola outbreaks in the future. And if it and if it works, they say it could potentially be ready to go within a couple of months. We should also mention that it's being tested on volunteers, as we understand it, and apparently not military members. But we're working to get uh, further confirmation from the Pentagon on that. And the banks today they are weighing in on cybersecurity. We did. As so many of them have been hit. Certainly, certainly to actually be more of a partner with the banks so that the private sector and the government can work together. While the other banks are focused on trading and, and raising capital and IPOs. Well, this is the 17th day we've had a hundred point. Swing. You've got Ebola. Uh, you've got yeah. ISIS. It's tough to watch a lot of these right. days. Today, not that day. Luckily. And so interconnected between the government and the private sector Absolutely. these days. Well, as you know, John has been away for a, a couple of weeks. He's back from Kilimanjaro. Yeah. Have a good time. Uh, it was. They said it would be the challenge of a lifetime. And you and, hiked up. And it was. Made it all the way to the top of Kilimanjaro. Lori, a young nurse in Texas, speaks out about her personal battle against Ebola. Welcome to Happening Now. I'm John Scott. And I'm Heather Nauert in for Jenna Lee today. 26 year old Nina Pham now says that she is doing well. Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And you experienced, which of course is Eastern Africa, not Western Africa. 4,000 miles apart. You uh, got, went through a little bit of screening yourself. Yeah, we, we took off from the Kilimanjaro Airport, changed planes in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and they had us go past one of these heat sensitive cameras. And they took our temperature essentially via, you know, remote infrared camera before they would let us go on. I thought the same th kind of thing would happen at Dulles when we landed at Dulles. Knowing yesterday that you morning. had been on the continent, right? And and knowing that, you know, this is the the this nation is the world's technological leader. Right. There was no kind of screening at Dulles, which surprised surprised me. But as uh, you said earlier, apparently that's coming. Interesting. Well, yeah. that's uh, one of his proposals, at least. That's right. Mm -hmm. The CDC, in the meantime. On where you live. Yeah. Where you and I are from, Midwest and out west, guns are very common. Much bigger issue. Yeah. Some dramatic 911 call. Wow. Lucky Te lady. Technology helps yeah. once yeah. in a while. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. The real story with Gretchen Carlson starts now.